Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have a really great simple crock pot meal. We are doing some holiday kitchen prep, finishing up some home projects, and there's even some roses too. So if you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. The family has been wishing for chicken and biscuits, so I thought I would try to come up with a simple crock pot recipe that can cook while I am working on my to-do list. To start, you will need about one and a half to two pounds of chicken, a small chopped onion, three to four cloves of minced garlic, some chopped celery, a package of chicken gravy, I always use McCormick's, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of chicken broth, and a bunch of your favorite seasonings. I have my usuals here, Mrs. Stash, some bay leaf, salt and pepper, and garlic powder. In your cold crock pot, add your chopped onion, minced garlic, and chopped celery. Then put your chicken breast right on top and season well with whatever your favorite seasonings are. Combine your gravy, chicken broth, and cream of chicken soup and pour right on top. Then add a few bay leaves and set on high for three to four hours or low for about six hours. I always check whatever I am cooking in the crock pot with a meat thermometer to be sure that it is all at the appropriate temperature. My project this morning is this spice cabinet. I have really let it get out of hand. I'm usually so good about keeping it organized, but I don't know what happened. It just, it just has a life of its own. So what I want to do is take everything out, go through all my spices, make sure that my little containers are all filled up and everything is, you know, fresh and ready for the holidays. And I'll make a list of all the different things that I'm going to need to buy. Um, you know, for the upcoming marathon baking and cooking session. So I'm gonna get started on this now and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. The things that I like to use um, to store my spices because I really do have a lot of them. I love to cook, I love to try different spices. I think it really can change, completely change a recipe. I really like to store my spices in glass mason jars and I tend to use three different sizes. The larger ones are for those spices that I use in almost every recipe, and for me it would be garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, and parsley. I have this jam jar sized, you know, for the ones that I use on a regular basis, and I have the smallest size here for just those um, spices that I use for certain recipes or um, for seasonal baking and those kinds of things. I really love to use these fall shaker top lids. I get asked about these all the time and these are really awesome. I was able to find them at like Walmart and Target but I have not been able to find them lately so I went ahead and I purchased a bunch of them on Amazon and I'll go ahead and put the link to um, where I found them down below. But these are really awesome tops. They just screw right onto your smaller mouthed mason jars of all sizes and they snap open and you can get them to you know stay open while you're using them for your recipes and then you just clip them shut these were such a good find for me and it has really changed the way that i store all of my um, all of my seasonings throughout the year i keep all of my bulk spices in these two containers that i have down in my um, food storage room down in the basement and these are the ones you know that i buy at costco or i buy at the um, old country store that we have um, here in virginia that we pass all the time going back and forth to you know the different colleges that we drop kids off at and i like to buy them there because they're really super fresh and i have to be honest i have never had bad luck with anything that i have bought at costco season wise so i think those are really great too when i need to refill them i just bring my two buckets up i refill everything and then i just continue to store this down in the basement in my downstairs pantry so in little more than an hour, I have my whole spice cabinet all cleaned out, all organized, ready for the holiday season. On this side, I have the majority of my Pensy spices, which I always get as gifts at the holidays, and I just love using them because, you know, that's how you find things that you might like and be able to use in so many different recipes. And over on this side, I have all of my um, bulk spices all in my little mason jars and shaker caps and all ready to go. So this is one project that I can check off my list. 
I have to share with you guys what I got in the mail today. I was recently contacted by a company called Rose Forever and they specialize in these beautiful natural rose arrangements that come to you all packed beautifully in a velvet hat box. So the idea with these are that they are preserved natural roses that do not need light, they do not need water, and they are to last for at least a year. They were kind enough to send me their large 36 flower arrangement, all in beautiful ivory roses, and they were also kind enough to offer all of my viewers a $20 off promo code. I will be putting all the information about Rose Forever and the Mickey 20 promo code in the information box on down below. I am sure that you have seen these types of companies popping up all over the place and I have to say that Rose Forever is one of the most economically priced companies that preserve roses out there. So I got this arrangement for my daughter who will be home um, from college this weekend and I think this will be so sweet for her to take back to her school apartment. It needs no care at all. She doesn't have to worry about watering it or putting it in the window to get some sun and it's something that will last throughout the school year and beyond. So be sure to check out all that information on down below and don't forget about the Mickey 20 $20 off promo code. I wanted to give you a little sneak peek at our painting project. We have just finished painting the kitchen and the family room. And as you can see, we still have to put the side panels back on our cabinets, but I just love this color. It is called Ivory Brown. It's by Velspar that you can get at um, Lowe's. And it's a really pretty creamy tan color that goes so well with my ivory cabinets and my ivory china cabinet here in the family room. So we have it run all the way through these two spaces because they're really like one big room. So some of my projects today is getting my china cabinet all put back together and working in the kitchen, getting that all put back together. And then we're gonna move all the furniture back into the space. So this is what I'm going to get started on now. I have so many things to put back in this cabinet. I have so many family pictures that I keep here. So it does take a little while to you know, rearrange everything. So I'm gonna get started on this and I will show you what it looks like you know, along the way and when it's all done. All right, so it is several hours later and I am finally done with my china cabinet. It just takes me a really long time, but I really love doing things like this, you know, finding a spot for everything. And um, here I just changed a few things, like I changed um, these little shelves down here below. I used to have some of my uh, green plates down there and I moved those up into the cabinet part of it. And I'm sure this is all going to change when I start to decorate for Christmas, but I am really happy with the way that it turned out. I was able to add some of my Ray Dunn pieces in there and still include all of the family pictures that I just love. I do need to find a picture for that little frame right there, but I think I am done. So it's been almost three hours and my chicken is up to temperature and it's pretty much done. So at this point, you're going to want to take everything out, shred the chicken, and then to the crock pot, you're going to add a bag of mixed vegetables. In a separate cup, I am adding about three tablespoons of cornstarch with a little bit of warm water. And you're just gonna mix that up really well and then add everything back into the crock pot and let it cook for another 30 minutes. Once the gravy is all thickened up, I'm gonna melt in just a little sprinkling of shredded cheddar cheese or whatever you have in your refrigerator is fine. Of course, homemade biscuits with this would really be the best, but I'm just going to be using some Pillsbury buttermilk biscuits. This is a really great recipe to tuck in your freezer to pull out during the holidays when you have a really busy night ahead of you with not a lot of time to cook. You know, this is the time of year I always try to double my dinner recipes to be sure that my freezer stays stocked throughout the holiday. 
So thank you all so much for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye.